Thank you for agreeing to this meeting, Kevin. Your last book in the Misplaced Mercenaries series, Heroes Kill Everyone, is a huge hit. Fans can't stop talking about how Keen and Sarah's lives evolved so drastically from book one to book five. That's a relief, Kelly. I'm glad everyone liked it, but writing this last book has been really bittersweet. I can't believe it's over. That's exactly what the fans are saying. They want more. Well... I have another idea for a series with this young royal who worships Sarah. And That's she... great! I love it! When can you have all the books to me? All of them? 2026? Mm, you see, that's not good enough. The Misplaced Mercenaries fans are goo-goo for more content. They want swearing and adventure and powerful women and smart-ass men and witty repartee in the middle of battles. And they want it now. Can't they just reread the first five books? Now that's the humor everyone wants more of. But I have a better idea. Come on, if we keep you in your chair 24-7, you should be able to triple, maybe even quadruple your output. I'm not a big fan of this idea. I'm not going to eat. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got it covered. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's one problem taken care of. What about when I have to take a shit? Yeah. Oh, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. Cover! See? I thought of everything. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me see if I got this straight. The fans love this series so much that they are begging for more books. And your solution is to chain me to my desk to write 24-7? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I have a more practical plan. What if we get other authors to write misplaced mercenary stories? No way. I mean, we need humor mixed in with traditional sword and sorcery. I mean, how are we going to find authors who can hit those points and still write a compelling story? As incredibly unique as I am, I do know a few other authors who could really do justice to my world. Like who? Like me. Jen Bear, how did you get on this call? Kevin invited me. I have a great idea about the oldest daughter of an immortal sea witch who helps her friends take down an invading lord, only she accidentally starts her own religion and angers a foreign pantheon, then has to round up the most powerful magic wielders in all of Andos to put a stop to an evil organization trying to stomp out magic, all with the help of a sentient eyeball she carries around with her in a pouch. Did you say sentient eyeball? Yep. See? She's got a compelling storyline and characters that'll fit in perfectly. Well, I mean, it kind of sounds awesome. And I know how good Jen is with all of her honorable mentions and silver honorable mentions from Writers of the Future. I mean, Jen, you've also been publishing a couple of our anthologies. I know you can write. But two books a year, mm, it isn't going to cut it. Maybe if I get more chains. What are the chains for? I'm your Huckleberry. Jessica Rainey, definitely. What you got? Okay, picture it. A bounty hunter in debt to two different gods, and she has to pay in souls. Oh, and her, um, her hand, it'll turn into a wicked blue sickle, and then I will put in some classy beheadings, very classy beheadings. Ooh, that sounds cool. And I've read your Tooth and Bone series, and know you can do the macabre, but... Where's the funny? Oh, I got you. Look, let's add in three dummies who fancy themselves master criminals but couldn't burgle their way out of a paper bag. They screw up our bounty, get everyone in hot water with a warlord, yada yada yada, hijinks ensue. Now that I could get behind. And we've seen your humor on the Writing Wrongs D&D podcast as well as your other books. Mm. I know you can do it. Okay, Kevin, I gotta hand it to you. This is starting to sound pretty awesome. I might have someone I can pull in. Let me add him to the call. Hey, William Galaney. Hello, Kelly. Welcome to the Chill Zone. You've read a good running away, right? Oh, you mean that book by Kevin Pedway? That was a lot of fun and playful. This one right here, I'm starting on book two so far. What? You know, I've been meaning to pitch to you an idea, 
Bastard is an interesting place to me. I was hoping to write a story about a brilliant alchemist trying to utilize his brains and deductions in order to fight off monstrosities. And as much as I love these works, I feel like there's so much more of your world we can explore. Uh, would you be willing to listen to my ideas? Amazing. That's a perfect addition to the Misplaced Mercenaries universe. Want to write it? Absolutely. That sounds great. I need more bat toys. And another copy of your second book. Sweet! That makes four books a year for the fans. If we get two more authors, we can deliver a book every other month. Hey! Am I on the right call? Chelsea McGuire! We were supposed to meet later, but this is perfect. Everything you write is funny already. Do you think you could add a sword and sorcery element? Oh, you know, I'm never out of ideas. I have this one. Uh, it takes place in a tavern. Well, it's uh, it's less of a tavern and more like a bar. Well, it's less like a bar and more like a shack in the middle of like this swamp. And it's run by this woman who's like a sorceress, but like she's not really a sorceress. But anyway, zombies show up and it's going to be lots of fun. Chelsea, I want to read that now. Well, so that's five. One more. I know. His book was hilarious. Let me add. Oh, hey, Kelly. It's been a while. What's up? Hey, Ethan Cooper. It has been a while, but I think I finally found that project that we can work together on. Meet Kevin Petway. Hey, Ethan. We're looking for a humorous fantasy series in my misplaced mercenaries world. Do you have any ideas? Sure, I gotcha. Hey, do you know that feeling when you're in love with your best friend? but she can't marry you because you're both in a reclusive cult. Um, but she's, uh, you know, a high ranking priestess and you're still only level one. Uh, but then the cult says she has to escort two young brats across a couple thousand miles of dangerous Andos landscape. And you have to go with her to help make sure she and the brats don't get eaten by crag lions or infected with crotch crickets. But you don't really know much about the world because as I mentioned, you're in a reclusive cult. I really don't. Yes, finally! A story we can all relate to. I mean, we've got it. That's six authors with six strong ideas for series that will expand the misplaced mercenaries universe while keeping the fans entertained. So, no chains then? I'm still not sure what the chains are for. Uh, chains have many uses. Which brings me to how we'll introduce this new feature to the avid readers. I mean, how are we going to do that? We could do an anthology. Ooh, yes, I love short stories. With some awesome artwork for the cover. Oh, I bet we could get some of our friends to write a story for us. And get trading cards made of some favorite characters. Don't forget the maps. Everyone loves maps. I love this idea. So now all we need is you, the reader, so we can Make sure that this amazing anthology gets out so people hear about it and we have misplaced adventures for everyone. We are super excited for this expansion of misplaced mercenaries that we're calling the misplaced adventures. And we have been keeping this secret for way too long, but we can't make it happen without your support.